the great cultural divide in Canada historically, geographically, linguistically underway. And the idea that given all the other things they were thinking about but soccer, now that they've been in Orlando for a week, they have a game under their belt, but all sort of click back into place. Larea on the feed. Canola's in the middle. Larea cutting it back. Richie Larea! Seven minutes and Toronto have taken the lead against their rivals, Montreal. It's Richie Larea. Well, this is terrific from Larea. And you talked about him coming in for the injured Justin Morrow, right footed, right back, playing at left back. From Orlando, it was Emmanuel Maciel who got the yellow card early. Instead of Louis Bates. For Kyoto again, that's going to work. He picks it up on Gonzalez. He goes five hole on Westberg. Out of absolutely nothing for Montreal, Ronald Kyoto's tied the game. Slots it past Westberg. Look at this. Gets Omar Gonzalez on the turn. He can't keep up with him for pace. Moore Jr. rolled in. Piatti. Akinola's in the middle. Pablo Piatti cutting it back on Wanyama. Now the cross on the deck. Akinola's there yesterday about Piatti and Pozuelo and he said a lot of times you don't know where they're going to pass because they see the pass that you don't. To do up their goalkeeper and now they're able to sh shift their lines they're able to press up higher they might win the second ball here. That's a good little touch around the corner. Morales playing it up now for Kyoto that was tied air. Kyoto Mavingo going to ground. Jair Marufo points to the spot. Penalty for Montreal actually draw Toronto FC out and you create some of that space in that matchup that you want. It looks there like Mavinga actually gets the ball here. So let's see, as Kyoto goes past, here comes Mavinga. In the first place, I'm not sure why he's even making this challenge the way that he is, but he gets the ball with his back leg. That air 10 for 10 in his career from the spot. 11 for 11. To go in and try and win the ball in that fashion, it's a reckless tackle. Takes out Kyoto as well. Tider steps up. This thing just swings and swings. Here's Akinola again. Ayo Akinola scores his second of the night. Toronto retakes the lead. For Toronto FC, the other way. Victor Wanyama gets caught here. The run off his shoulder. Ruti once again to take third quarter of the night for Montreal. What? Into a good area. That was Binks up to get it. It was almost in slow motion, wasn't it? Just floats off the shoulder of Endo. Clear header, nobody on the bus seat back line. Oh, Akinola the other way as Raitala fell down. Ayo Akinola! It's in for a hat trick! Well, have a day, young man. Have a tournament. As he, look at the strength there. Get in the weight room. And then the composure. Just a little dink over the top. You want to tease? Well, you're going to get yes. the high-pressing, high-energy tempo from the New York Red Bulls. They're looking for a potential handball at the end of this last sequence. You can sort of see the view that John Marufo is looking at. Very quick look at it. Yeah, and it's penalty. That's a penalty, yeah. Time. Yeah, he's hoping to hear the final whistle right as Quentin Westberg puts this ball in the air. And just about he does. So it got a little goofy there at the end.